This is a video on making short rows using the yarn over method. So we're going to work up to the point where we want to make our first short row turn. It's going to be right here. And then you turn the work. Now you're going to make a yarn over on the right needle before you continue on. And you make the yarn over in this fashion. The yarn needs to be on the front side of the work. You take your right needle under it, and then you start purling. And when you do that, that first stitch, you have that nice tidy little yarn over right before it. We're gonna work over to the position where we're going to make our next turn. And it's gonna be right here. So we turn the work and we're going to make a yarn over again. And this time we make a yarn over by putting the needle under the yarn, then starting to make a stitch. It makes nice tight yarn over. Now we're going to conceal those yarn overs. So you work over until you come to the stitch that has the yarn over associated with it. And they're very close together, they're easy to see and there's this big gap afterwards. We're gonna work the stitch that has the yarn over associated with it, and then we're going to use the next stitch and the yarn over and knit them together, two together as one. And that's how that yarn over is concealed. Now we're gonna go back and conceal the one on the opposite side that was worked on the purl side. We're going to purl over to it. Here it is. We can see it because it, there, the yarn over is very close to the stitch it's associated with and there's that big gap. So we're going to knit the stitch now, if we just knitted two together, the yarn over would end up on the right side of the fabric. So we can't do that. What we have to do is we have to slip this as if to knit, slip this as if to knit, put them both back onto the left needle and purl them together through the back loop. So that's an SSP. And then that yarn over is now on the wrong side of the fabric. Work to the end of the row. I have a whole series of these short little videos on how to make a variety of short row turns. They're found up in the top right corner of this video. If you click on the little eye, you'll see the whole list and you can watch the rest of them. Happy knitting!